Hi, this is Steve Saxty, and these are some of the incredible wind tunnel models that I discovered in Ford's museum when I was over there a few weeks ago. They kindly allowed me to take them outside for the first time in decades they've seen daylight. And here's just a few of them collected there in my hands and on the pavement just outside the walls of the museum. I'm going to look now at probably the two oldest and smallest Ford Escorts you'll ever see. So this is the original Mark I Escort. It's absolutely the oldest Mark I Escort in the world. This must date back to probably 1965, 66, something like that. And there's many, many little differences. It's very rounded feeling, um, quite different in some ways to the car that eventually came out. And it's made of a, a, a material called EPO wood. It's solid wood like mahogany. You can barely lift it. It's around about one six, one fifth scale, I think. Um, and you can see how the, the headlights there are slightly more inboard. Um, and also this car, the Mark II Escort, the oldest Mark II Escort in the world. It's just how I found it there in the crate when I looked in there. And this is the car from the front. Again, very simple in design, very heavy. You can barely lift these models up. And it's stacked up there on top of the crates so that they've been sitting in for decades, hidden away all these amazing wind tunnel models that I would say they're probably priceless in some ways. Now, these are the oldest Escorts in the world, but as you can see in these photos, um, there's more than just a Ford Escort uh, in the collection there. And these are a few of them there on the pavement and a much larger one third scale model that I'll, I'll do in a separate video later, which is amazingly the world's only five door Sierra Cosworth, but that's for another time. But if you want to see more videos, take a look Click on the link here to my page. I've uploaded way more videos from when I was at Ford's uh, museum that you can see stuff that's never been seen before and read some pages from my book.